Yeah, here's the lettuces and stuff. And if you can see, you see how they became fat pods? Yeah, those pods are all filled with seeds. I'm not in the video. Yes, you are. There you go. You're in the video. You got your bottle. What the heck is still got no water? And here's the iceberg and the bib lettuce. Iceberg. And the celery. Still I doing water. okay. And there's the fishies. The cycle's going on. Yeah. But they're happy in there. The plan was is I had goldfish and fathead minnows to start breeding uh, catfish. I had channel catfish. I used to have six of them in this system down here. But uh, the system was uncovered and they, they, meaning the cats or a possum or a raccoon, killed all the catfish but one. So there's only a single catfish left. Here is the sunflower with the corn and some tomato plants and here is the peanut plant and there's the emmy bear you're in the video okay honey okay you water the plants you take care of them here is the monster tomato plant nice it's got blooms on it and stuff, and so do the peas. The peas are just going berserk. I water these with the fish water, and uh, I have seen positive results. Positive, positive, positive results. Here are the potato plants. Getting nice and big. Just go ahead and water the plants, honey. Yep. I gotta do that on the they are producing for sure. And the strawberries. Yeah, the strawberries. Yeah, we see red strawberries here and there, but they're not they're not booming yet. All this leaves and stuff is my mulching method of keeping down the weeds and stuff. Yes, baby. Yes, please do. Water them, water them, water them. And the onions and garlic. They're all laying down, but they're green and they're growing. They got new leaves that pop out to show that they're growing well. Somebody did. Get them. Yeah, that was the squirrel. Yeah. The squirrel would try and dig up everything. Yeah. We try to feed the squirrel, but... Yeah, as you can see, here's the poison oak. I found some dead fish in here. Poison yet. oak, poison oak. Don't touch that stuff. It's poisonous. Okay? Okay, but I found a dead fish Well, that's the update for today. I found some dead fish in there. As you can see, the lettuces you, Daddy? are just now. Daddy? Yes, baby. Okay. They don't get they don't get full direct sun until afternoon sometimes, so these plants right here don't get constant sun all day. So I think that they would have had more growth, but they're limited by sun. These these get direct sun all day long. And uh, I've been harvesting out of these, so these are so crammed in here. What I've done is, is in, in the, the thickest part, I pick leaves to thin it out a little bit. And it's been great. Here's me in the video. Yay. There is Emily Ann Callahan doing her thing with the fish pea water. These are carrots and uh, cauliflowers and broccolis and cow brocks and stuff. Come on, Daddy. You do your thing, honey. Water. Over here is the other sunflowers. I'm trying to grow sunflowers for the seeds because the seeds will store and that's what they will become storage food for whenever there's a great need for them everybody else thinks that there is no great need only the select few 
and these are the strawberry plants they're kept in these pots because I want them to be portable portable for the day that we need to go because the squirrel keeps on digging in there and stealing my red potatoes there's red potatoes in there just water them through the plastic honey it'll get through there that's good you see how it's getting wet that's good can you do it you do it honey I'm busy with the camera ah. and this is cilantro with seeds that's what I want seeds 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 and more seeds as many as possible cilantro is a natural heavy metal decontaminant which means that it binds in your body with any heavy heavy metals which include a uh, uh, mercury aluminum lead or any of the radioactive isotopes that we are ingesting now I'm not sure if it actually goes in the blood and combines them from what I've learned so far that it's only through digestion but everything that we are eating which is watered by the rain will be contaminated and at one point in time it will be contaminated greatly so everybody if you have the possibility start some of these aquaponic systems because this of course in the cold time will be put inside but when things get bad these will be food producers now this 30 gallon tank is only supporting a small tray but that 30 gallon tank has enough capacity to grow I would say 10 of those trays 10 of them so the the, the possibilities are just great we don't have the we don't have the resources right now to do the big bang thing and uh, we don't plan on buying more plastic trays but what will happen is uh, at one point in time I'll be making uh, trays out of uh, PVC black plastic for for ponds yep, here's a flower Emmy picked for me thank you Emmy yeah I picked uh -huh. it over there somewhere uh huh in the grass okay just make sure you don't pick none of the flowers off these pea plants okay because we want them peas and those peas of course will be giving us seeds 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 everybody please collect your seeds you will need them trust me especially organic seeds everything that I've bought is almost all organic I have bought a crossbred here and there but the majority of all the plants that I bought are non GMO non genetic mutated is what I call the new foods mutated food is bad for your body I guarantee it they say it's safe for us but I give it a pure negative spray them get them get them get them good girl all right we're gonna end this video for today all right say goodbye goodbye bye bye